So I'm not the most safety conscious guy in the world. I try to do things in a safe and efficient manner, but uh, one thing that I've never really worried about too much before now are the grooves and the grinding discs on this uh, on this ball bearing bench grinder here, this nice little little Minnesota that I picked up for almost nothing. That was one of my better finds. Uh, I really like this little grinder and uh, I've heard from a bunch of people that it's actually fairly dangerous to have grooves like this in a wheel. And uh, now at this point the grooves are so deep, usually from sharpening tungsten on this thing, that it's actually a little bit hard to use the grinder. So we have this and then we have the metal removal machine over there whose grinding discs are they're really glazed and they're sort of crapped up with material that's been there over the, I don't know, 18 months or so since we built that thing roughly. And so today I am going to be experimenting with one of these grinding wheel dressing sticks. This is a Norton brand one, Norton brand abrasives I've always had really good experiences with. Uh, it was really affordable, I picked it up on the interweb, I'll put some links in the video description if anybody else needs to do this little job as well. It's uh, American made and I've never used one of these things before, I'm fairly optimistic about this. So, uh, you know what, I think just from reading the back of the package, essentially all I do is I just lay this on here, I feed it across and it should maul off the, uh, the crap from this. So this is definitely a job for safety glasses and probably some earplugs, so let's see what happens. That's like pure grinding wheel dust. It's actually working like instantly. That's amazing. We're, we're already shedding a lot of the grinding wheel and this there's barely even a scratch on it. <laughs> wow. Well, that looks pretty well uh, <clears throat> smoothed out. It's not perfectly flat. The wheel slopes in a little bit, so I'll have to like take off that bevel. We'll wait till this uh, thing stops spinning here. Wow, they are just gone. Look at that. That's just like new. So just having the shop vac here caught like three quarters of that dust, it's probably incredibly toxic. But, I mean that was really something. I have no idea what this is made out of. Someone told me they call these like diamond sticks or something. But whatever it is, it's like full on anthrax to grinding wheel abrasives. I mean look at that, that's like, <laughs> that's pretty much new. So now that these things are flat, what I'm going to do is move in this guard because otherwise stuff can get like jammed in there. And uh, uh, actually I'm not that hardware is really rusty. All right, let's go do the other grinder and then I'll come back and adjust these. These are full of all kinds of uh, the things that have been ground on them and uh, so, you know, they're not really sharp, they're, they're glazed. I'm told that's the technical term for that. It seems pretty fitting to me. So on these, we don't really have to take much material off. I mean, this one's grooved a tiny bit, but nothing like this other wheels. We mainly just have to clean this one. I was kind of hoping that wouldn't happen, but 
So I once heard a joke that was something like, who wins, a man or a stick in a fight? And someone's like, well, obviously the man. And the guy's like, well, no, because the guy just breaks the stick and then there's two sticks in one man, so the stick always wins. But, you know, whatever the case, it got the job done. Um, not really too worried about this. They're, they're a little short, so next time I use this, I'll just hold this with some pliers or something to keep from losing a finger. And uh, so, you know, it worked, and that's the thing. This is a job that I've put off for years and always kind of dreaded it. I learned there's really not anything to it. It takes a whole $14 stick here and uh, in like five minutes for a really bad grinder. So really happy with how this turned out other than that. But uh, you know, not the end of the world. Got the job done. Should have done this sooner. No point in putting this off, you guys.